think that by amending the guidelines, it's going to help everybody. So from day one, we always um, you know, wanted to reach out to the physicians because they were the ones, they were the ones that if, um, you know, if they could try our product, we knew that they would, you know, they would see a positive outcome and, you know, they would tell their friends and family and, and it would trickle down to the uh, patients as well. We really wanted them to get access to the, to the highest quality products that were, that were being offered. So we strongly believe that if these guidelines are changed, um, it will have a trickle down effect. The, the physicians will be more compelled to, to suggest um, using high quality glucosamine chondroitin for the support of joint health. And again, the patients will, will end up benefiting highly because there is such a, a kind of a, a, a wide range of quality products out there on the marketplace from the very high quality, you know, raw ingredients containing formulations all the way down to, you know, un unfortunately some that, that, that may not have um, uh, the best uh, ingredients overall. It's geared towards people who might have had that situation when they wake up with the, with the maybe, uh, you know, joint discomfort, the, the creakiness, and, and nowadays, um, you know, we have a lot of people being very proactive, which I, I love to hear um, with their health, and so we have a lot of runners and maybe your weekend warriors, so it really runs the whole gamut from, um, you know, the, the, the warriors to maybe even people after an ACL repair surgery, so really um, a whole host of, uh, of folks can, can really benefit from, from such a product. It's always been our belief, and now many others, that if you use high quality ingredients, you're going to get a high quality positive result. And in the studies we talked about prior, um, that's exactly what was, what was found. And if they incorporate that into their overall guidelines, I think there'll be a, a different outcome this time. In terms of side effects, for over two decades, we've had a very favorable profile when it comes to side effects. And we can attribute that largely to the fact that we use only the highest quality, ultra pure pharmaceutical grade ingredients in our products, and that really is one of the differentiators along with the, the, the science and research support. As we speak, we have three clinical trials already launched or in development um, looking at our joint health products. Um, one that I can share a little bit about, even though it's, it's now really accruing patients as we speak, is one that, that really is an interesting one, and that's where we're actually um, teaming up the clinical outcome. So this is looking at, for example, um, the patients will go to a clinic and the, the, the doctor investigator or the nurses will look at the overall functionality and the pain and ask questions in, in the actual clinical practices. Now we're also getting urine and blood-based uh, samples so that we can actually test for biomarkers. And the best way to describe it is it's akin to if you go in you know, for prediabetes and your doctor takes a blood test to look at your sugar levels and then, or glucose levels, and then later on you take something and hope that they're going down in the right direction. These future studies and the studies that we're doing now actually are really translational, looking at both the clinical metrics as well as those biomarkers. So really um, the, the future, we believe, of joint health uh, supplementation care. It's called uh, dietary supplements for a reason. So we're supplementing whether it's a healthy lifestyle or maybe even some, some other medications or complementary um, you know, medical alternatives. So really it's, um, it, and, and what the physicians speak of is really like um, adjunct therapy. So it's something you can add on to um, you know, other modalities.